I mean, how do you see the RP and AI intelligent automation, hyper automation, it's coming together and helping the customer to transform their business? What's your view? Okay. <clears throat> So it sounds like you, you tailored these questions for, for my benefit. These are good questions. Um, let me say this, a lot of times companies buy RPA and they're, they're sold by the salesperson. This is so easy, low touch, anybody can do the code, right? And so they get the, they, they get the software and they don't know what to do with it. I call that a false start. Uh, the other thing that happens is they're nervous. Okay, let's say they're shared services. They're nervous. So they don't really want it to be a success. So they'll take something very small that takes five minutes a day to do and they automate it. Well, there's no payback there, right? And guess what? Eventually, your C suite's going to say, Was there any payback on this? No. <laughs> well, then I'm not spending any more money, right? So you know, those are the two things that I see most often, and they're wrong. So I really believe that the right way to start, even if it's just six months, 12 months, is work with a services company that knows this business because they're mm -hmm. going to mentor and train you in the right way. Yeah. They're going to say, look at, we want to evaluate these projects. This one has a terrible payback, you know, and, and a good payback in RPA is 12 months or less. That's pretty quick. Traditional IT is 18 to 24 months. So let us show you how to evaluate a project. And then, you know, let us show you how to do the development. You know, we can train your team. It's a similar approach to your traditional IT, your, your SDLC process. Very similar. You need to use in robotics. But when you let anybody, anybody can code, they don't understand that. And they're going to slap the code code together, they're not going to do proper testing, they're going to put it in production, it's going to be a disaster. And, and the C-suite's going to say, not only are we taking that out of production, we're taking you out of production too. 